Season 7, Episode 21. Mark and you don't have much to say about recreation. You, you clearly don't have much to say about this one because it doesn't have Applejack in it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Slightly. What was last episode? I did an entire episode reviewing in rhyme. I think I uh, can pull something together without Applejack. Though I prefer yeah, but Applejack in there anyway, but that's beyond yeah. the point. So, we find out that Kettlecorn likes painting circles. Which a is lot. Fun, I guess. <laughs> well, it's like Maedrak. It's the only thing she knows how to draw. Ouch. Anyway, so the one on one cue mark advising isn't very efficient as they are doing it one full at a time. And they think helping a whole herd of them at once would be much more effective, and the foals could help one another. They yeah, but what's keeping them in check? Well, they're all of the same age, so I mean, and it's really, go have fun is essentially the instruction. So, it's not that, uh, it's not that hard to wrangle, I would think, with that sort of level of restriction, which is almost nil. Uh, one thing this episode that I found interesting was they keep tossing around the term blank flank. I thought that was a derogatory word for the kitty markless. Perhaps the tone in which it is delivered determines the level of offense it intended. Yeah, it seems that way. Yes. Well, I mean, like, um, certain cultural terms. Like, if you listen to, in South Park, um, Cartman's always like, you Jew, insultingly, but Jew is also just a term for a Jewish person. It's all about the tone and how it's used. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what they're going with here. Because we really only ever heard it being used by Diamond Tiara and her mother, and both of them used it in a derogatory so manner for most of the times. Uh, anyway, um, so instead they decide to hold a cute mark day camp at Camp Friendship. Which was the same camp Applejack went to. <laughs> uh, see, see? You cannot, go, uh, you cannot go a show without talking about your beloved AJ. But, AJ's but is it, is it also... false? Did I, did I make a false statement I know, there? I know, she's, I know she's the most penultimate background pony there is, but still. Oh, you shall burn for that one. <laughs> well, the watch, the, the unwatched pot was boiling, so. And now so were you. Anyway, uh, the cutie mark camp was what they were trying to set up in Fame and Misfortune. Continuity, I suppose, which brings up interesting timing issues, but anyway. Um, so... Rumble crumbles up a flyer the Crusaders give him as his brother Thunderlane approaches. Thunderlane straightens the paper and gets an idea. He tricks Rumble into going to the camp, which he clearly doesn't want to go to. And Thunderlane is apparently a Wonderbolt now. And the Bolts are preparing for a show in Ponyville. I mean, they did somewhat set it up. I mean, he was part of the reserve, so. Yeah. We expected that Dash would be called first, and she was. And now, afterwards, they're having to, you know, it's like, Dash was obvious. It's like, we're just looking for a hole to slot her in. We're just waiting for somebody to leave so we can put her in. We just need a slot open. And, you know, I guess another slot came open, and they're like, mm, uh, Dash was easy. Uh, Thunderlane? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, they just, you know, they needed a, maybe it was just a reserves thing. The reserves are up. They or wanted to do a larger formation. Maybe got fired and we don't know about it yet. I, I doubt that. Maybe they, perhaps they eaten, wanted a, a... Somebody for, She was eaten because somebody forgot a comma. Uh, anyway. 
So, Rumble feels a little overshadowed by his brother as the rest of the foals ooh and ah at him. Uh, Ephili behind him whispers about there being no way he'd be as good as his brother at the horseshoe toss. You know, Thunderlane hit it on the first go, and he subsequently intentionally fails at it. He also intentionally throws the game at kayaking, run by Scootaloo, archery, run by Sweetie Belle, dancing, run by Apple Bloom, and intentionally snaps his pencil at the haiku writing and says the camp simply isn't for him. He's tried everything and he's all out of ideas. <laughs> um, Skedaddle shows Kettlecorn haiku and she gets her mark in it. And then we get an interesting little exchange um, for continuity. Uh, Tweetbell says, trying to find out what you're meant to do can be frustrating. Do you remember how long it took us to get our QD marks? And Apple Bloom says, I remember the nightmares. So a nice little mm -hmm. nod to Bloom and Gloom. Yep. We literally saw her nightmares. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Yeah. So they go to reassure Rumble, who is watching his brother practice. That they will try harder tomorrow to find something for him. And that they understand his frustration. He shows frustration at them, but denies it. He then utters blasphemy to their shock. He doesn't want a mark. Dun dun dun. Ah, cutie marks are overgraded. Uh, Rumble pulls out the armor-piercing criticism of the marks. That they limit what you are going to do for the rest of your life. It's been a long time since Avalun did anything other than what her mark relates to, including making potions with Sakura. So, deciding they can't do anything for Rumble, they decide to focus on the ponies that do want their help. Turns well, out you can't help the ones who don't want help. Yeah. Turns out flying like his big brother is his passion, as we see him going through cloud hoops of his own design. Which is a weird thing. He was having his own little fantasy, you know, the best flyer in Equestria, and Thunderlane jumps out in front and says, Thunderlane! To complete the sentence, it's like, Really? You're being a bit of a jerk there, Thunderlane. <laughs> the kid's <laughs> obviously having his own little fantasy thing. You know, wait till he finishes and, and, and you know, don't insert yourself there. It's just kind of a, a jerk move there. Yes. Um, and he feels overshadowed by his brother again. I, mean, and I would totally do that. We you're know, also but a you're jerk. <laughs> He feels overshadowed by his brother again, and after he says he should go back well, to the I, camp... I mean, that cloud could have hurt him. It's a cloud. They're Pegasi. <sighs> they kick these things into oblivion. You don't think And take naps on here... them. What? And take naps on them. Yes. I, I, I don't think, you know, I don't think it would be dangerous for him to interact with a cloud. Um... And after Unless he says he needs something dangerous behind the cloud. I don't think there was. <laughs> and considering how thin the clouds were cloud rings were, I don't think you could hide anything much there. Thank you, Pi. But she's not in this episode. Well, there, she's there she's off doing been other things. Razor wire in it. But there was a Yeah, but that's just what makes it, it he fun. Made it. He made it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, overshadowed by his brother again, and after he says he should go back to the camp, says that he can't be a blank flank forever. This gives Rumble an idea. An awful idea. A wonderfully awful idea. Well, it is so easy being evil. Uh, the devil tips his hat to me. Uh... Anyway, uh, so Skulu, you don't get a cutie mark just because you're good at something or even because you like it. There's more to it than that. Well, usually the mark ends up coming from uh, something of a Venn diagram of what you're good at and what you enjoy is generally what it tends to come out of. 
And uh, Old Ponish is another language to add to yeah, the language list. Yeah, hope no, but no pony gets uh, a murderous cutie mark. No pony get cutie mark of a sacrificial dagger. Athame. Anyway, uh, Old Ponish is another language to add to the language list with fancy. I guess what modern what they're speaking in Equestria now is n new Ponish or modern Ponish. Because it could be Equestrian. But... <laughs> I'm curious. So, the song basically reprises his argument that they are, the cutie marks are limiting. And at a curious moment, the background singers are making the motion for snapping, but that wouldn't really work for equines, would it? They have no fingers, usually. Yeah, well, equines do a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense. <laughs> True. I mean, they do hold things with their hooves. Yes, but snapping? Anyway. Um... So, he decides to start his own camp with blank flanks and doing nothing. The group joins Rumble. So, basically, you know, they're, they're basically doing the same things that they were doing on the other side of the line that he draws in the middle of camp. Just on the other line, the other side of the camp. Um, uh, Sweetie Belle urges them to remain calm and talk things out. But she's the first to get her dander up when confronting Rumble. Our cutie marks. Special <laughs> box. Special box. Um, so, Skedaddle the Go ahead. I, I like the fact that she's makes a haiku as she's saying you know she like talking about she doesn't want her um cutie mark because it means she'll only do haikus forever like <laughs> that was a haiku <laughs> and that just makes me wonder is it not a zebra thing but just part of her cutie mark talent that causes a core to speak all in rhyme well we've never met another zebra so we don't know it could be a cultural thing. It could be just the Cora. We don't know. We don't have enough evidence. And do zebras really have cutie marks? I think they kind of... It's that sun thing she's got does. on hers. I think that's what... Yeah, well, I, I can't figure is. it out. She's not her normal zebra pattern. I don't think, um, I don't think that's how zebra patterns like, work. Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, like, she was born with it. She didn't get it later in her life. I, I, think, it, I think it is... A cutie I'm mark of sure some it's cutie kind. Mark. It's just their cutie marks aren't nice drawings. Direct. That, nice direct drawings. They're more of that. Tribal. It's a slightly different art style. It's a more of a, mm. a line drawing. It's not as detailed as you know some of the pony marks, but it, it's it's got its own little start of art style that is cool in its own way. Um. Uh, okay, oh, Skedaddle discovers the flaw in just doing what you want and trying to remain a blank flank when he hits a good horseshoe throw. You might accidentally get your mark. So Rumble at this hey, point don't do anything! Suspension. Yeah, exactly. He calls for the suspension of all activities that could lead to a mark. Which is fine for Kelicor and she just goes back to drawing the circle because she knows she can't get a mark in something else. She's already got her haiku mark, so she's just like, uh, uh, there. Uh. <laughs> You know, and though they could just do things that they've already done that didn't lead to a mark, just making sure they never try anything new <laughs> the, at the yeah, uh, at the thing. Uh, anyway, at this point, the CMC go to talk to Thunderlane, which implies with a, let me get this straight: my little brother upended your entire camp. How in question did he do that? Well, um. Mm -hmm. Well, here. Sweetie Belt says, well, she inhales and goes motor mouth. 
started when he couldn't toss a horseshoe or paddle a kayak or shoot an arrow or use a pencil and he felt bad when he wasn't good at anything but now he doesn't want to keep working at all because he's afraid he'll get stuck doing something he doesn't like forever you know but he is good at all that shit yeah that should thunderlight no i don't drum was good at all that stuff which apple replies well that doesn't make a lick of sense unless he was being bad at stuff on purpose Thunderlane replies with, I was afraid of this. Scootaloo. Afraid of what? Thunderlane. Ever since I became a Wonderbolt, Rumbles, so he is part of the Wonderbolts. Proper. Mm -hmm. Rumbles either watching me or trying to fly like me. He won't do anything else. That's why I thought your camp was such a good idea. Scootaloo. I don't understand. If Rumble wants to be a Wonderbolt someday, what's wrong with that? Thunderlane. Not a thing. But right now, he isn't even giving anything else a chance. Applebloom replies, sounds to me like Rumble isn't afraid of being put in a box at all. Sweetie yeah, Belle. he won't even take a bath. He'll be afraid of you like cutie marking that. Sweetie Belle, it doesn't. Applebloom. That's what that smell is. <laughs> Applebloom, nope, I think Grumble's already picked, picked out a box. He's afraid he'll get a cutie mark that'll keep him from it. So at this point, the group slowly abandons Rumble as the CMC have invited Thunderlane. Thunderlane loads lots of act different activities with the foals. Rumble holds out until there's a Wonderbolt style obstacle course. Move to the ground for the earthbound types, of course. Which, uh, Applejack could do quite well, I would think. <laughs> um, Thunderlane doesn't run the course, but instead cooks with a big black cauldron. Turns out he likes cooking, but didn't realize it until he had to take his turn cooking at Bolt's at HQ. He's more than just his mark. Rubble has a change of heart and know he's good. knows he's good at flying. He's, still, he's willing to see what else he's good at. And that's the episode. We don't actually ever see him get his mark. But he is well on his road. Yeah, but I mean, it mark. took CMC like yeah. three years to get theirs. Yeah, well, it's you know, you some sometimes with these sorts of episodes, they will just go. You know what? <laughs> you know, as soon as they stop trying to, you know, avoid it or get around it or something like, it just like slots into place. Usually, that's what they usually do with these sorts of episodes, but they left it kind of open and, and said, okay, well, we don't know quite what Rumble's going to do, but at least he's headed in the right direction this time. And he's going to try stuff that uh, maybe he didn't think he would like. But, yeah. Uh, you know, which, this brings out a lot of, you know, this is going to bring out all the anal analysis bronies with the uh, what exactly are QT marks, and what... Uh, what you know? What are all the rules around it? We don't know. You know, is it something you're good at? Is it something you like? Is it, you know, is it something of a, the the two? I seem to think it's a little bit of both, um, because the destiny, whatever mach whatever machinations of the divine bestow the cutie marks. You know, they probably say, okay, well you're going to be good at this and you're going to like this so we'll give you this mark you know you may not understand at first that you like this but over time you will grow to love it and that will be most satisfying destiny for you yeah <clears throat> Yeah, but that's about all I have in terms of notes. Well, if they really wanted all the uh, blank things to come back, all they had to do was uh, get Diamond Tiara to start making fun of them. <laughs> But she's done her heel face turn. She's good now. She can't do that. Yeah, I, I, I think she can still be a little bit mean sometimes. 
I doubt it. I mean, as, as important as that episode was, and we really haven't seen her be mean since. We haven't seen her much at all. We also since. haven't really seen her yeah, since. Yeah, so the next sentence was we haven't really seen her much at all. Yeah. No. You know what's funny? We were just talking about, um, last. was it last week? How each of our OCs wouldn't have an episode and it's like well there could be aspects of our ocs in it like one that's go- wants to eternally be a blank blank and one that um whatever yours was i forget mine was search and rescue he's a long he's a marathon flyer essentially and it, we were just saying how characters like ours wouldn't be uh in there Mm, mine could be. Mine's actually, I think, reasonable enough that mine's, uh, mine could be in there. And Drox, if you could ever figure out, I guess Sword is what we went with the cutie mark, so I assume some sort of warrior. Yeah. You know, so, couldn't be Royal Guard, because he's not, he's not, his, his, his coat isn't white, but... <laughs> Hey, I mean, um, if you look at uh, Flash Sentry. Yeah, but he's also a Crystal Guard. It says if he was in the Crystal <laughs> Empire, he could be it. But it seems like in the <clears throat> uh, the uh, the Royal Guard, the Daytime Royal Guard, there's one color to be. Though again, maybe the armor. In the Royal Guard also gives you a die job, just like in uh, Pun Pony. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it does make sense, because otherwise that is one really racist Royal Guard. Is You must be, you must have white fur in order to be in the Royal Guard. This guy's obviously, you know, incredible, an incredible warrior. Because well, he's, he's white. Blue. We can't have blue. Go away. <laughs> Talk about white supremacy. <laughs> Actual white supremacy. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Which, yeah, it would make more sense if, like, the the armor did that. Like, it, it put some sort of filter and made made them all look like they're all have white fur so they match a bit like a uniform yeah i Actually, mean it, I, the first episode of my little, little pony i think in the first episode of my little pony celestia has some gars that were like purple hmm. i guess we just don't see them very often but uh yeah i mean Though we've never seen anything from like mine before, and Drox would be fairly common. I don't know exactly what his occupation would be. I mean, perhaps Royal Guard, perhaps not. I don't know. Depends on what you want to make perhaps of it, Drox. It's it to um, Don Quixote style. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe it would be a, uh, maybe a be host on a uh, live stream. <laughs> with swords is a cutie mark? Yeah, I think Jack agrees with me. No! <laughs> with swords is a cutie mark? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes no sense. Or maybe I could teach or maybe I could teach sword fighting. Like, like I'm the one who teaches sword fighting to the Royal Guard. Mm-hmm. You can't be a Royal Guard because he's the wrong color. <laughs> But uh, those, teach him. <laughs> those who can't, uh, those who can do, those who can't teach. But yes, yeah, you, you know, I think two out of three. You know, I guess this, you know, your 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 OC is basically this episode taken to its fullest extension. <laughs> um, basically. But. Uh, yeah. Although you did have, although you did have uh, different reasons, though. True. Yeah, yeah, different reasons, but same idea, same sort of situation. Uh, overall, uh, the episode was all right. I mean, 
it kind of confronted some things about cutie marks, but you know, without giving us too much information. 